So this is your June 2023 uh, Coastal Maryland and Delaware uh, market update. We're going to talk about the interest rate uh, and actual data on the sales here in Sussex County and Worcester County. Uh, so we can look at the real numbers and of course I'm going to finish it off just to uh, fill you in a little bit of what I'm seeing you know, on the ground every day that's helping buyers and sellers. What's going on guys? This is Rich, your local Maryland and Delaware realtor. Again, if you need, ever need to reach out, my contact information is going to be down below in the description. You know, of course, I live, work, and play here in coastal Maryland and Delaware. So anything from things to do to anything, you know, real estate, if that sounds like something that you're interested in, hang around and uh, hit, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the video content that I come out with every week. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in this into my screen. All right, guys, we hopped into the computer here and uh, always like to start off with the interest rate see what that's doing probably heard a little bit that it's uh inched up a bit but it's always been hovering in that higher sixes the sevens uh, but we're on the uh, freddie mac website here and right now it's 6.96 percent uh for a 30-year fix there's a little summary of what they have on here mortgage rates increased to their highest level since november 2022 data suggests that inflation is softening uh, falling to its lowest annual rate in more than two years. Uh, but, you know, increases in housing costs, which account for a large share of the inflation, remain stubbornly high, mainly due to low inventory um, relative to demand. So, say, you know, demand's still there and inventory is low. So that, that's what I've always been saying here is what I've seen is holding prices steady. Um, but they're not increasing like they were. Uh, it kind of feels like they're leveling off, but let's look at the data here, um, which will tell us exactly, um, you know, what we're seeing. So, you know, got Maryland on the left, Delaware on the right. Let's take a look. Days on the market. You can see for June, uh, we have 36 days and that has increased a little bit from May. But you can see from the previous months, it's actually still down a little bit, uh, which that is what I'm feeling on um, a lot of the buyers and sellers that I'm helping, you know, especially if the properties are priced correctly, um, you know, they're, they're moving. So months of inventory, we got uh, two months accumulation, which is you know, always super low. And uh, it's actually lower than it has been in the past months here. Um, medium sales price is 410250 um, And that's actually going down a little bit, but that's been kind of fluctuating. Um, you can see from the previous months, it's actually risen a little bit and 170 units have sold uh, versus last month was a 189, but you can see some of those previous months have been kind of jumping up and down a little bit. So sales are still moving along. Uh, Delaware, days on the market, we have 40 days. Uh, that has gone down. You know, a lot of new construction over on Delaware, which I know new construction has actually increased um, and I just helped, uh, you know, a set of buyer clients recently purchase a new construction up in Lewis, Delaware. But months in, of inventory, uh, we have three months accumulation, which that has gone down a little bit. And the medium sales price up in Sussex County, Delaware, we got 461,000, uh, which that has gone up. And units sold 492 units. Uh, which has down a little bit from the previous month, but not the, not a huge amount. All right, guys, so we're back in here. Just a little bit about what I'm seeing on the ground, you know, helping buyers and sellers. Uh, so right now, um, it's actually activity has been pretty steady for me, uh, you know, all through June and even coming into July now, uh, which a lot of times it actually seems to slow down, uh, especially coming into the summer, like July month. Uh, because you know people get busy vacationing, uh, spending time with family. But uh, I've been uh, pretty pretty steady here. Helped uh, a couple buyers over in the Ocean Pines area. Um, one uh, didn't quite have multiple offers on it, but it had some activity. And the other one, I think we went up against you know four or five different offers, and uh, and you know we made it very attractive and. Uh, the buyers won the uh, the offering uh, on that house. So very happy we have that going. Um, of course, in June, I helped another set of buyers 
uh, you know, with a condo in Ocean City, there were multiple offers on, on that one. Uh, listing wise, I have one that uh, is a direct ocean front, which I sold a similar condo just a few months back. Um, you know, in a weekend, multiple offers. You know, this particular one, we've got it priced a little higher um, starting, uh, but it's still in the ballpark. Uh, but it's just a little hard to show because of, it has rentals booked on it, you know, all summer. Um, but it, it seems like the activity on it is, has been a little bit less. Overall, I know the inflation report has uh, just come in. It's uh, down to uh, 3%. Uh, I think this time last year it was at like 9%. Um, so uh, that's a good thing. I think 2% is the magic number where, uh, you know, nationwide the government wants to uh, have that. And uh, the big thing that we read on the Fannie or the Freddie Mac website is that the, uh, the, the housing prices have uh, been holding steady in, in most areas. And that's true for this area as well. So the big thing is affordability and hopefully, you know, getting more inventory, which new construction permits and builds have gone up. And especially in this area on the Delaware side, I've seen more activity on there. As I mentioned, I just helped some buyer clients uh, purchase a new construction uh, up in Lewis, Delaware. To sum everything up, you know, activity has still been pretty steady. Uh, maybe not quite like it was in the, a few months ago in the spring market, but that's kind of normal. Um, you know, we always have a second selling season is what they call it. You know, uh, late August coming into September, October, um, and then naturally it, it, uh, it, it really starts to slow down, you know, closer to the holidays, you know, Christmas. If you need to reach out, you know, uh, my contact information is going to be down below. Reach out any, anytime. I'd love to talk with you personally uh, to see if it's a good time for you to buy or sell. And of course, until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks.